my program, I'll call you. Good evening. Okay. Uh, this is episode number 20 of the Sudhir Mishra show. And today, almost we are reaching one year. And this is a very important episode because I have finally managed to get a guest whom I admire, whom we all respect. He's a maverick. He's a live boy. He's Mr. Rajiv Kumar Luthra, founder and managing partner, Luthra and Luthra Lofts. Uh, sir, most welcome to uh, the Sudhir Mishra show. Thank you. Uh, sir, this show is actually, when I thought about it, the idea was that how do we inspire the younger lawyers, the law students, who are quite clueless and who don't know how to start, how to begin. And I was also a first generation lawyer. And when we see your journey, the kind of the challenges you have faced, the kind of uh, disruptions you have done in last three decades, uh, I will just say Alama Iqbal very rightly describes when he said, he must have said about people like you, Khudi ko kar buland itna, ki har takdeer se pehle, khuda bande se khud puche, bata teri raza kya hai. And you know Urdu Shari more than me. You have a great love for Urdu. I know about it. And you are free to share your Shari and say whatever. But tell me about your early childhood in Delhi, about your early life, your parents, your siblings. How was Delhi at that time? Uh, so, first, uh, I hate starting an interview, especially with a luminary like yourself, with a correction. My name is Rajiv Krishan Lutra, not Kumar, and my only regret is I have no gopis, only the name. <laughs> <laughs> so, my father was in the Air Force, yeah. and uh, he got transferred all over the place, uh, and he got commissioned in '49. Yeah. And uh, so I've been to many, many cities, many, many schools all over India, as is, is normal for a Air Force brat. But we came to Delhi in 1969. And uh, sorry, a little bit before, 68, 67, 68, after the Chinese operations. Yeah. Uh, we came to Delhi and I got admitted in a school called Bal Bharati Air Force School at Lodi Road. Uh, and I was, I think, in fourth or fifth grade at that time. Hmm. Uh, sorry, fourth grade. Uh, and the school was still fifth grade. So I was in the second senior most class. So they decided to make, uh, hmm. uh, you know, the school started building. And uh, then I went to the senior most class in school. Hmm. And that year on was the school decided to extend its uh, to sixth grade to seventh grade, you know, one year at a time. Sure. So I was for four years a house captain. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, so... What was, of, what was Delhi like? You were very young, fourth or fifth. So where you used to hang out? Well, you were very young to hang out, but still with parents, where you used to go? Because people ask... No, no, no. We hung that? out. Oh, you better believe it. We hung out oh. uh, like oh. crazy. But by far, we used to live in a place called Dhorakuma. Yes. And so we had the Defense Services Officers Institute, which the Air Force officers... DSOI. 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 The Dhorakuma Club. But they used to hate calling it the club. They called it the institute. So anyway, so there was a lot of swimming, a lot of tennis, a lot of squash. And uh, lots and lots of activity and lots of fun. Hmm. So and, and sir, so once you finished your early education, uh, you did your college. How did law came in your mind? How did what from where this interest in law came? So very quickly from Bal Bharati, uh, I, my father insisted that I go and join the Air Force Central School. Because he, he, he was told, uh, we had, since it was still fifth grade, there were mainly lady teachers. Yeah. And on Karwa Chaut, there was a holiday. That said, how can you be in a school where Karwa Chaut was chutti hoti? <laughs> so he shifted me from Air Force Central School uh, to a Balbhati to Air Force. And then went on. Then I did my college, but very young. I was, I think, 16 years and three months or five months or something where I passed by those days, it used to be called the entrance exam yes. for accountancy. So you're allowed to take the exam after first year of college. Yes. So I took the exam and I 
पता नहीं हैंड राइटिंग समझ नहीं आई क्या नहीं आई मुझे पास कर दिया इट वाज अ टफ एग्जाम एंड सो आई स्टार्टेड आई गॉट आर्टिकल इन एन इंस्टीट्यूट चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स एंड फ्रॉम देयर ऑन आई गॉट इनटू ऑडिट व्हिच आई फाउंड एंड आई अपॉलोजाइज्ड टू ऑल द ऑडिटर्स लिसनिंग टू इट इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्रेन डेड एक्टिविटीज एनीबॉडी कैन डू because all you're doing i discovered 7 years later that all you're doing is checking what is wrong you're not adding any value and so you joined the illustrious list of uh, like harish salve had the same background if if i remember correctly well harish uh, qualified as a chartered accountant i gave up before because i just couldn't handle it yeah so i shifted my stream i was a liar. i had rights of audience up to the income tax appellate tribunal for tax Yes, and so I uh, would argue to the tribunal, then the uh, the appellate tribunal, uh, the appellate uh, commissioner's office, and the ITOs they were called those days, income tax officers, assessing officers. So I did many many tax matters. Had uh, I was lucky, got some very very heavy hitting clients, big companies like Rolls Royce, British Aerospace. Bank and we are talking about pre ninety one or post ninety one. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Pre, pre, pre. Pre ninety one. I'm talking of nineteen seventy nine. Yes. Uh, when I when I first filed my tax return. Wow. I opened the office. And what was I, your age, sir, at that time when you filed your first tax return? Twenty. Uh, Brilliant. And uh, uh, I uh, uh, filed the uh, uh, application in the Reserve Bank. Uh, for opening the liaison office for Rolls Royce India Limited in 1979. Wow! And uh-huh. there on British Aerospace, uh, it was called British Aerospace PLC. Then now it's BAE Systems, and then many many more things, and had a uh, quite a reasonable, even though I say it myself, successful uh, tax practice. Argued many interesting cases uh, in the tribunal as well. Then I discovered that all these matters would go up to the High Court or Supreme Court, and I had no rights of audience. So at the age of thirty-one, I did my law. Wow! And I opened my law firm in uh, uh, the same year. I I will just pause here, sir, for a second because you are talking about at the age of thirty when you finish law. It requires courage. When you have a successful tax practice, it was a fairly well-known company. So far, the audit is concerned or accountancy is concerned. You leave all of that, and you decide to plunge into a challenging situation. What were the law firms seen like? Which were the law firms at that time when you created uh, Luthra and Luthra? So, uh, my mentor. Uh, I've never had a senior. I've never worked for anybody in my life. Yes. Uh, Same here, so sir. I- Oh great! <laughs> so I don't know whether it's good or bad, but I know this much that I'm not restricted with knowledge. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, the firms at that time there was of course the vanilla firm, the Crawford Baileys, yes, uh, in Bombay. JBD, uh, JBD Delhi Mitha. JBD mm-hmm. was the only phone firm, and Rajendra Narayan. Yes. There were these two for Ravinder Narayan. I can't. No, no, Ravi, Ravi, Ravi Nath, Ravi Nath's Ravi farm, Nath. father's farm. Right. Okay, farm thi, or or koi jada farm nahi thi. Yes, there was uh, Amachand uh, undivided, but chota sa office. Chota ho ra unka farm. Ah, because the main office was in Mumbai, right. and no real uh, law firm uh, of any sort. So when I opened my little law firm on a Yesdi motorcycle. And fifteen hundred square foot of space at Ashoka Estate, where we are still today. And which year was that? Ninety one. Eighty nine, ninety. Ninety, nineteen ninety. So, so just before, 90. just before, just before Manmohan Singh and Asimha Rao. Correct. Preparing with a red carpet for you. Correct. Just before that, so you created I the law. I got many awards as being a great visionary. Yeah. The fact is, I didn't know anything else. No. and ah. the fact is then i went to harvard law school for seven right. summers hmm. and learned project finance learned infrastructure learned m&a uh, trade uh, negotiation and all kinds of relevant things that well no other college in india taught that right right in law right and at that time anyway uh, uh, 
low admission, uh, low attendance was a bottle of rum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so anyway, so the, you know, कहते हैं ना कि अच्छे लोग आते गए और कारवा बनता गया. कारवा बनता गया. In fact, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's a true thing which you have said. And one thing which everybody who knows and who admires you in the legal profession will say that you have never, never had been silent about praising anybody or saying what you want to see. You have always said whatever has to be said. And uh, you were one of the early trendsetters so far the corporate law practices. What were the corporate law practice as such in 1991 onwards? How fast it translated into business, whatever Manmohan Singh and Asimara were doing? So very quickly, uh, I used to play a lot of golf at that time and at a reasonable standard at national level. Yes. So a lot of the industrialists, the thapas, the all the singhanias, the heavy hitters, they were all golfers. So I won't name the company, but I yes. listed the company at that time. Their uh, managing director played golf. He said, Lutra, kya kar, karte kya ho tum? So I said, sir, as he said, tax practice. He said, why don't you do our company's tax work? Wow. So he called me. For the whole year, liye, they used to pay 1,800 rupees for that company's filing of returns and attendance. For the whole year. So I said, sir, what is this? Then at the board meeting, I was asked, so when will you give us the uh, assessment order? Because that's not up to me. Kete kyu? Hamara to ye atara so me to assessment order bhi deta hai. That was corporate practice in India. <laughs> and it was all, you know, it was, uh, then it opened up. Our first big client was George Soros uh, doing two uh, projects. One at Haldia Petrochemical Project and one a uh, power project in uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh. And like this, then Mitsubishi, Mitsui uh, went on to build into very, we had, we had one time we were advising about 52 power projects. So they say that actually energy practice, it became later bread and butter for many law firms, many boutique yes. law firms, which are, but one of the early pioneers were uh, Lutra. Yes, and yes. for the major, you know, and much of India's new energy transition, which was happening pro-1991, when it became Central Electricity Regulatory Commission came in picture, private participation happened. You were in the thick of uh, the entire thing. So we, we were covering all the spectra, whether yes. it was uh, O&M, BPA, uh, you know, BPAs, uh, off-takers, yes. uh, the, the transmission. Tariff, tariff fixation. And all, yeah. So we were looking at all that, including training the regulators. Got it. Got it. So we were trained them also. Right. There were a few young partners I had earlier. Yes. One actually passed away. Yes. But one also left the firm recently, a chap called Mohit Saraf. Yes, he sir. and uh, Samin Vaya, Samin passed away. Yeah. They would actually go along with me, of course, train these regulators. Yes. And explain to them what is the Alexity Act, mm. how does it work, what is an off taker, Amazing. what is non recourse finance, yes, and what should we be looking at, etc. etc. So, no, a I, have, I have a history to tell you that we were the lawyers uh, when, when I started my practice in '98, Central Electricity Regulatory Commission had come, it was just created, there was no APTEL at that time. So I was a lawyer for the Central Electricity Regulatory Commission. Mr. Parak Tripathi, our good friend, was a counsel for that. So most of the tariff-related uh, petition which used to come there, all the background funding and all the background documentation was mostly done by Luthra. That Most is how you remember the energy uh, practice of yours. So I'll tell you, uh, Sudhir, uh, there was a big challenge at that time because A, um, and I'm not, there's not a slight meant on anybody, but the people manning, let's say, the, the principal secretary power, he was a Sanskrit major or a yeah. history major. What does he know about non recourse financing and this IRR and all this complicated stuff? So <coughs> there would be months and months of negotiation. Yeah. It was all fear of the unknown. 
mm. and little knowledge. Combine that and that was the scene. Right. So we prepared a matrix mm. for projects that had closed in uh, Malaysia, projects that had closed in Thailand, in Sri Lanka, in even in Pakistan, which I call the other country. The hub project, we made a matrix on the clauses. Ka. Ki kaun se, kaun se clauses are necessary and you don't have financing. Nahi hoega. Wow. So, and now if you look at a lot of the old power projects done with the government of India, the first three pages are, are, are three pages. So that is the differentiator actually. Like in Companies Act, when we talk about a lot of work has been done by Amachan Mangal, there's no doubt about that. Yes. And it is always uh, mentioned, but in energy, your name comes into that picture. But uh, sir, tell me, after 2000, there was a massive explosion of law firms when we entered the legal profession. Um, specialized law firms came into, like energy law firms also came, many energy law firms came. But how did Nutra kept on reinventing itself in 2000, post-2000? How did you keep on reinventing? You were amongst top three most of the time, even in combined Amachan was there. What was your mantra for that kind of persistence? You know, it was more, as uh, I said, my name Mahatma Gandhi. My father was Air Force. Uh, I had no pedigree, no credibility, no judge, no attorney general, nothing. nothing. So I would keep thinking of which is, where is the future of law going? It was developing very quickly. So, so we were the first law firm to actually do project finance directly. Not just advise a power project for land acquisition, etc., but the whole nine yards. Wow. We were also hired by an American company called Smith Cogeneration to do a project in Wuhan, in Hubei province. Wow. In China, as international council, I'm talking of the 90s. Nothing to do with India. Nothing to do with India. Yeah. We were advising them for their barge mounted project along with a law firm called Scadden Ops. Yeah, they were that's the, one of the, the leading law firms, firms. yeah. And, and. So the owner, uh, the, the president of this company, Donald Smith, uh, he said, Luz, why don't you go to China? I said, you know, I, do, I, I don't know Chinese law. He says, neither does Scadden Ops. So you, <laughs> be council, you hire somebody local. Wow. Then we went to Bangladesh. We went to Sri Lanka. We went to Nigeria. That time. So, a lot of exposure, a lot of interesting things we did. We did a lot of new type of projects which were never even thought of satellite financing. Right. In fact, I was a little Punjabi, I was a show off. Karu karu, sir. <laughs> Abhi, you went to Noida and told me. Ji, I stay in Noida, so I crossed that. Next time you go from the Delhi side, hmm. just before you hit the river, huh. look right. There's hmm. a black granite plaque there with our name on it. Okay. On the Noida toll bridge. If you, go from, if you go from Delhi side. Delhi side, China, just the river. Because yeah. that's where the bridge is. Before right. that, it's only the... Uh, the, the, the uh, this At that, we hit the Delhi side. Beach make granite plaque. Uh, right. Island name. Beach make right. white right. there. Right. Granite plaque was where Luther and Luther Law Office is the I know a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, so, the whole idea is that in last uh, few days, uh, we have seen that you have been talking about the reincarnation of Lutra and Lutra, and a lot of people are talking about it. Another version will come, which will be even stronger, in, even more uh, disruptive, and, and much more contributing because you have played a big role in society of Indian law firms as guiding, mentoring many people. So we will not be able to talk about the specific issues you had in, indicated to me rightly, but I'll say that Sine mein jo dab gaye hain wo jajbaat kya kahe? Sine mein jo dab gaye hain wo jajbaat kya kahe? Ab khud hi samaj lijiye har baat kya kahe? Sahi so, baat hai. Sahi so, baat hai. I'll, I'll answer it with, with, with a share from Ghalib. Yes, sir. I was waiting for it. Yeah. So, this is one of my favorites and I use it regularly in my firm when people are hassled and I can't give them an explanation. Especially when it deals with humans. So Ghalib was in love with a lady called Fatima. Ji. He used to live in Bali Maran. Ji. And she used to live in Nazamuddin. Wow. Us zamane mein koi metro to tha nahi. To ek din Ghalib miya ko thala paai bhaut jada ki mene apni girlfriend se milna hai. 
एंड शी वॉज इन रियली प्लेंग अप टू हिम तो ये अपनी थोड़ी शराब की बोतल खरीदी आई डोंट नो वॉट इट ड्रैंक और चल पड़े रस्ते में रिक्शे में बैठ गए रात हो गई फिर पैदल चल पड़े हो रिक्शा वालों भी थक गया ही रीचेज फातिमाज हाउस इन द फर्स्ट फ्लोर बिलो हर विंडो वॉज ऑफकोर्स स्टैंडिंग ऑन अगेंस्ट द वॉल and uh, below her bedroom window yelling fatima fatima and three fourths of the bottle of whatever he was drinking was over ab unko he had to call of nature to unhone deewar pe karna shuru kar diya wahan se police wala aaya janab ye nahi kar sakte yahan to kehta hazur and he was at it hazur jo dikh raha hai ye wo nahi hai ये आंसू हैं जगह ढूंढ ढूंढ के निकलते हैं <laughs> ये मेरी हालत है सो आई आई विल से सर आई आई वांट इट टू बी दैट वे ओनली वेरी वेल सेड सर तो इस पर हम बात कर सकते हैं आई विल से कभी साथ बैठो तो कहें कि दर्द क्या है दूर से पूछोगे तो खैरियत ही कहेंगे नहीं खैरियत है तो खैरियत तो है खैरियत तो है तो सर टेल मी वन थिंग दैट वॉट डू यू थिंक इज है लीगल स्पेस नाउ एंड वॉट डू यू थिंक विद दिस निगोसिएशन विच इंडिया इज डूइंग विद ब्रिटेन यू आर वेरी इन्वॉल्व विथ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टफ विच हैपन्स इन ग्रेट ब्रिटेन यू हैव बीन अवॉर्डेड मेनी टाइम्स देयर एंड वॉट डू यू थिंक दिस ट्रेड निगोशियन विल हैव एनी इम्पैक्ट ऑन एम्पलीफाइंग द बिजनेस अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर लॉ फॉर्म्स बिटवीन बोथ द कंट्रीज and their law firms coming more and more here we getting more opportunities there so i have a uh, uh, interest i don't know the you, uh, your researchers found that out but i was the first chairman of jetco yes for legal services and the gats yes and i had probably if i total up about nearly 30 meetings hmm. with the british side hmm. a couple of meetings with the american side and a few meetings with the australian side hmm and uh, sir tom leg from clifford chance was the chairperson from the british side and uh, i have my report i can share it with you it was, uh, it was published i think 2006 or 7 right of course uh, uh, nothing much has happened and my report very clearly says mm. uh, we must open our uh, legal services because we are we have already sworn to open our legal services so you are you are fine with that you are fine with yeah, that it should open we are, really? as a country we already made a commitment yes. under gats that we open all services only how and when now we should open i don't see any reason why not and i'll give you a simple example. there's this big fear ki bade paise wale aa jayenge idhar aur bada khol denge now let's look at the history how many large law firms apart from the verizon ones apart from the ones who amalgamate are there in the world where what is the largest office of any law firm foreign law firm in singapore 50 people 70 people hong kong 100 people see anywhere so secondly jab yahan koi india mein 1500 pound dega ghanta exactly you are right and so the partners will be same इंग्लैंड में पंद्रह सौ पाउंड दो हजार पाउंड कमा रहा है इंडियन डेढ़ सौ पाउंड सो यू डू दैट वन साइड सेकंड द होल स्टोरी ऑन इंटेग्रिटी ऑन एथिक्स राइट नाउ यू वी आस्क मी द स्टोरी एस वर इज लॉ फॉर्म्स एंड लॉयर्स आर कंसर्न आई एम एक्चुअली ऑलमोस्ट अशेम्ड द वे वी आर गोइंग विद आर एथिक्स एंड इंटेग्रिटी द वे यूज आर गोइंग इज सिकनिंग absolutely so some of our senior advocates are doing it is sickening you know we i have always felt and and that's how i run the farm that we are a profession we are not a business and of course on a uh, therefore we, integrity and ethics is main money is a by product but fir main thoda angle to dal rahi na maine punjabi hu fir main kehta hu dekho agar family agar profession hai to family ki tarah chalega अगर फैमिली की तरह जाएगा तो मैं फादर हुआ मैं फादर हुआ तो सेशिएटेड बेनेवलेंट डिक्टेटर तो फिर मैं सॉवरन हुआ यू कांट टच मी 
मैं ही डांट सकता हूँ सर टेल मी वन थिंग दिस इज अ बिग थिंग यू हैव सेड बिकॉज़ आई वाज ऑफ़ द इंप्रेशन दैट अ लॉट ऑफ़ बिग लॉ फर्म्स स्टिल इन इंडिया हैव दिस एप्रिहेंशन अबाउट द इंटर ओपनिंग आप एंड � Yes, discussing you know three, three, four, four day meetings. Yes, and then asking what they want. Think about it, Rajshri. Let's just open up the onions a little bit. Our Indian courts, me, you are going to sit down. One of them will not know the law. The other one will not understand the judge. I mean, I think about it. Who will hire them? And what is this fear all about? Both very good, sir. Sir, uh, sir, few important things because we are left with five, six minutes of yours. Tell me one thing, sir, that which are the practice areas you are most bullish now with uh, the new version of your firm and for people like me who are trying to make a difference with whatever little enterprise we have. What are the areas we should look up to in the next five years in legal profession? So about 10 months ago, I uh, brought out the drawing board. So we uh, have got about 14 lawyers right now focused on climate change, uh, carbon zero, ESG. Sir, sir. We have another 16, 17 lawyers plus three partners, including yours truly, on Internet of Things. Now, Sudhir, you think about how many democracies are, how many laws are made, when the horses are bolted, the law is made. Absolutely, sir. Now, today, driverless cars are a reality. Now, God forbid one hits you. Who will you sue? Yes. Koi law hai, koi likh raha hai, koi soch raha hai. Nahi. Kab karenge ye? And I give another example. You know, God forbid you have diabetes. They put a little instrument on your stomach, or near your stomach, which is connected through Wi-Fi with your doctor. He looks at the parameters and says, okay, 2 mg insulin. Well, it gets uh, injected. I hack into that app. I said, 200 mg. And you pass. Perfect murder. My goodness. And many more examples I'll give. Many, many, many more. So that's the big area we are building. This whole data privacy, public and private. And a whole lot of other... Then... With all these class action shoots happening, yes. most of us are hate saying it. Right. We need to ring fence our, our assets, our personal assets. God knows when we'll be hit by what. Some things we have no control over. So, very important to do your estate planning. Yes, sir. Very important to get family trusts made, to ring fence your personal assets with your liability, which, you know, independent directors, etc., etc. So, ये तीन चीजें तो बहुत जबरदस्त फोकस कर रहे हैं, and then the peripheral stuff like art law, yes, the NFT is coming, all of that happening. We we are building these. We are already well on our way. We've already got the the domain knowledge and the system, and very I'm blessed that way. Yes, very good quality people and very high end. Wonderful. And when we say this. Uh, it also requires uh, that what are your actually what what are the two three things you feel that they are very good with the younger generation which is coming into law uh, post 2020 uh, which you find very attractive and what are the few th things you want them to change because they all are listening to this hearing you what do you want them to change or tweak and what do you think are, is fine that will take them where they want to go you know, uh, I spend a lot of time with the youngsters. In fact, I have a rule. I meet every intern also that comes to our firm, me personally. Uh, and uh, either on Zoom now or uh, physical. Every generation has got their own quirks. Huh. We think these kids are crazy because they want beanbags. Huh. No, it's their own way. I remember when I was uh, their age, Mm -hmm. I used to think Foxtrot is the most stupid thing on earth. Right. <laughs> and, uh, but now it's, a, you know, uh, I mean, Chaudhvi ka chand, aftab ho, ab teri tu, meri poo. I mean, that's, you know, <laughs> <boy, geez. laughs> so that's how the whole story is. 
However, yeah. here, at least that's my uh, analysis, here everything has come very quickly and there are many, many options. Wow. At least in my time, the option was chartered accountancy. Correct. Engineer. Correct. Nature of it, or government, there were 120 people were uh, bureaucrats. So, you know, that was neither here nor there. So they now there's so many different options. So that's confusing the whole story a little bit. Yeah. Second, how do you build, how do you keep up with the changes? Mm -hmm. You see, at our time, every 20 years, things will change. Now they change every year. Absolutely. So the knowledge of the teachers, that's 20 years old, 15 years old. Volpo shifts. It's shifting like crazy. And the youngsters, <laughs> their knowledge is bereft. When they come out, I mean, we take about between 70 to 80 youngsters every year, we induct them into the farm. About 50 or 55, depending on you know who needs what. We have to retrain them, reskill them. Absolutely. How many of them know even what an IRR is? Project finance can make a okay? How many of know even what non-recourse financing is? Do you college to study? No. Then it's come antitrust competition. It's come to you have the newfangled areas of practice of law. So it's a very... Uh, uh, yes. I can't blame these youngsters in any way. I can't say this is bad, it's not bad. But they have to you know, wake up and smell the coffee. They are in tough times. Things change so, every few years. So tell me, sir, that people like me, like when I tried getting a job, I was interviewed for IEC 98, failed to clear it. I, I tried to find a job, whatever eight or nine law firms were there in 1999. I failed to get anything. So I had an interest in environmental law. I started practicing it. Thankfully, it happened to be good. I got a full red fellowship and the firm became, now we do everything. We do a lot of other stuff also. Uh, my point is, sir, that people who don't get into Lutra or other large firms like Amachan and AJB, there are 75,000 good qualified lawyers coming out. What, what one mantra you want to give them not to lose the hope? Well, um... You know, unfortunately, it's become uh, more and more I'm seeing, and I'm trying to break that trend, it's become bureaucratic. Even in law firms, now what happened to trend? Those who are HR, they say, we will go to the national law schools. I say, why, brother? Go to the other colleges also. So Amazing. this year, this, this year and last year, we've taken 33 colleges. Ke bachche. This is amazing news. Ah, and as in turn, and uh, quite a few of them at entry level too, in the farm. In turn, 33 colleges have been That's a very, very... Almost 300 plus. They are hungrier. hungrier. They, uh, you know, for them, it's... and uh, it, it, So it's a different experience. We're trying that experiment. That is very but encouraging. It, and, and, and we believe in gender diversity. Yeah. So we are pushing that envelope nice and hard. But again, it becomes tick the box. Right. The, till you're not conscious of it, it'll just become negative. Yeah. Bilkul. national law school so and so His backside is covered. So I've changed, I'm, I'm changing it and it's, it's been a tough time, but I'm doing it. Go right. So amazing, sir, with a, what kind of motivation you have given to us. So many youngsters would be seeing this again and again. And I'm sure, Ashima, you have one question you want to ask and then we'll end the program with that. We have uh, Ashima here also. Oh my God. Ashima is here for one question. Yeah, Good evening, Mr. Lutra. Good to see you. I think the question that I had is already covered, but I need to really ask you, sir, you know, you're a paragon of knowledge, spirit, wit, and humor. How do you stay so stoic in the middle of everything? What's your mantra for being right? Very good question. Good question. One thing is very simple. Uh, lo, uh, Asuma. If you don't have any knowledge, no 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 knowledge, कितने लोग कहते हैं कि बंबलबी की 
राउंड बॉडी होती है छोटे विंग्स होते हैं छोटा सा मुंह होता है इज नॉट एरोडाइनेमिक बेरनोलीज प्रिंसिपल वॉन्ट वर्क इट विल नेवर फ्लाई बट दैट बेरी बबल बी डज नो आराम से उड़ता है फर्स्ट क्लास उड़ता है एकदम दैट्स व्हाई हैविंग नॉलेज इज ऑलवेज नॉट द बेस्ट थिंग सिंस आई डोंट हैव द नॉलेज नो व्हाई इज इट दैट इन द आर्मी दे टेक ओनली पीपल हु दे इवन एक्सेप्ट पीपल हु आर मच लोअर क्लास इन टर्म्स ऑफ एजुकेशन बिकॉज़ दे आर मोर ब्रेवर i can go and do like in the air force they take only graduates so i think 11 pass or something you'll see regularly in air force uh, uh, colonies jaise officer dekha wo uh, airman ne apni cycle theek karni shuru kar deta hmm army mein kabhi nahi dekho koi matter that your dad or father in law somebody also from the air force yeah yes yeah, that's sweet sir army mein wo salute marega khada ho ke sab like there, there was a very quick story of uh, a gurkha he was he was sitting next to this uh, captain saab and they were reversing uh, that truck that jonga into a side of a mountain so he tells the uh, uh, gorkha jab lagega to bolna gorkha bao shab bao shab bao shab tar it lagya sha sir we are in the program uh, we are so thankful to you sir so you open your heart sir. and you have given us so many nuggets today before i end bashir badri your you are a doyen of urdu poetry so he said everything after listening to you i realized that how positive you are how straight forward you are and you, you have absolutely no toxin of any kind which is what i want i was sure about and a lot of youngsters would be watching this because of 100 reasons i don't want to spell them but what i have learned today from you is that how being simple being truthful and having a, a sense of humor like you have uh, this is what uh, is a message to everybody who is watching this that there would be wars you will fight in life but you should have a character to fight them so i'll just read bashir bad dushmani jam kar karo lekin ye gunjaish rahe dushmani jam ke karo lekin ye gunjaish rahe jab kabhi hum dost ho jaye to sharminda na ho wah mukarrar absolute mukarrar Thank wow. you sir. Thanks a lot for giving your time. We are grateful to you. Thanks a lot sir. Bye bye sir. God bless and be Thank safe you. all of you. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you sir. Take care sir. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>